try to die well. Don't just run away from a timely death. I'm not, I'm not saying that you should, uh, if you see death, you should say, oh, death, come and kill me. Or you should uh, present yourself to circumstances that are dangerous. That could be suicide. But what I'm saying is that don't be afraid of death to the point that you deny the Lord and Savior, the very Lord of life. The one that came to share, shed his blood for you. Don't deny him because of the fear of physical death. As a matter of fact, we should also teach our children how to die. Not just how to live. We should teach our children how to die. We teach our children, we are so conscious about life that we teach our children, this is how you live. We teach them all the survival techniques in life, but we don't teach them how to die. But there is a way that a child of God should die. And that is what we should teach our children. We must teach our children never to die as criminals. We must teach our children never to die like arm robbers, like prostitutes. But we must teach them that they must die as heroes, as martyrs in the kingdom. If they find the opportunity to be numbered among the saints, among those who die wrong death, facing death and choosing to live with the Lord and depart from this world. Now, let's look at this Bible verse. Psalm 116, verse 5. Precious is the sight, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. <laughs> is death precious? How? How can you say death is precious? Can death be ever precious? Oh, if death is precious in the sight of man, if we say death is precious, death of a saint, not an evil person, death of a saint is precious in the sight of a man. Uh, people may misunderstand that man to say, oh, this should be an evil man. How can you say the death of a good man is precious? But this is a law. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Yes, death is precious. Not the death of a sinner, but the death of a righteous man is precious in the sight of the Lord.